Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You know what, guys? Let's talk about that magic thing, right? Let me talk about it. I, I guess it's mainstream. I guess it's the thing to do now, right? I guess you can Google it and be like, hey, two quarts of this and a spray and a, psh, you know, a little bit of aerosol and you spray in some secret, it, you know, you can make somebody love you. I don't know, guys, but... Let's just say, let's just, okay, put it like this. I had a conversation the other day, actually yesterday, that the person that put that thing together there. Um, so first, before the person came up here, I had pushed this desk back and everything and I covered up all my stuff. I covered up as much as I could. Of course, I couldn't cover up the big, the star, the moon and all that stuff on the back wall, but I covered up as much as I could and you can see that. So I'm standing downstairs and he goes, Miss Deborah. And I'm like, yeah. He goes, Miss Deborah. And I'm like, yeah. So then I come up the steps. He goes, you read energies? Oh my God. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Long story short, guys, we ended up talking about a love spell. This gentleman here said that he kind of told me a lot about his, his life. It's so funny when people meet me. And they realize this is what I do and they the energies just flow like that and basically he just gave me a whole life story guys like ba like a rundown and then y'all know me so I talk right back so it was like and he was a Gemini I'm a Pisces so it's like there's two right there that's the twin and then we have the two fish so we was going but this person here said they had got with this person they got with this girl it was a gentleman he got with this girl and for whatever reason um, things just would never work out with this person. Things would just never work out with this person. And they would keep trying and trying and trying and trying. And then and I don't want to get the stories messed up because I think he told me two stories. But I believe this one here was trying to get pregnant. She could never get pregnant, could never get pregnant, blah, 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 blah. And he would always do the right thing for this person. She would lose a job. He would do the right thing, right? But it was always the wrong thing for him. So then I believe this woman they couldn't get pregnant together for years whatever but then the woman cheated and she got pregnant by someone else right so i believe in that instant because i said oh i said that was your out i said that was your out i just did a reading about that so then he was like yeah so i believe when he got his out from this woman he said that she did magic on him or something like that she he couldn't i'm trying to piece it together guys he couldn't understand why he was following her chasing her needing her craving her you know like when that's not deep down inside that's not how he truly felt it was just like he was pulled and pulled and pulled but come to find out magic was done on this guy and um i think what happened was no 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 the baby came afterward the baby is what kind of broke it because they couldn't get pregnant together but he could not understand why he was always there not wanting to be there but what happened was the spell was broken when she went and got pregnant by somebody else so it it kind of broke it you know but that's what it was so guys that stuff is crazy yeah 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 holy spirit i don't even know where to start with you guys where do we want to start hmm guys where are we going with this i don't know let's do pandora's box but collective, don't you ever do no magic, right? Don't do it. That stuff will come back on you. It's almost like, it's like karma. You know, you do something to somebody and it comes back on you. Magic is karma. Unless you're like a real witch. And I'm not talking about a 1922 witch. I mean, a 2022 witch. I'm talking about a witch, witch. Like a 1800 witch who looks 50 right now today and you don't know it. And she could put something on you and then... And then it's gone like that type of witch, like a real one. Like you get a real witch. You don't want to mess with no real witch. Okay. Guys, for some of you, it's sex less than nothing else. Okay. Get it how you live it. <laughs> live it how you want it. Jump something in the limit. I pull up in the limit. <laughs> Not because I'm gifted. Guys, I don't know if this is good news or bad news, right? The fact that it's just sex less than nothing else. Is that good or bad news, right? It all depends on how you want it, right? It all depends on how you want it. Holy Spirit for the Collective. What's going on? Oh, the U-Haul. 
Somebody moving in together. Sex less and nothing else, and then they're gonna move in together. It's not gonna last long. Oh my god. This is infatuated passions, feelings of love at first sight. Guys, somebody is about to wreck they they about to wreck themselves, right? They said it's sex, lust, nothing else. So somebody is getting it in and it is great for them, right? They like bam. So to you guys, it may be good news, bad news. You can you don't care. So this person, whoever the sex is good, good, they're gonna move in together. But spirit said, how oh, wait a minute. Spirit said this is infatuation. Spirit said this is a lot of fat passion, nothing else. Feelings of love at first sight. So somebody is about to go jump ship. <laughs> With a love at first sight. Don't they know this is where we tell them this is where they go wrong? This is that. This is the Knight of Swords in reverse where they regret doing something really, really fast. Somebody's about to do something really, really fast. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Somebody's getting it in. Somebody that sex is so good. They want to they want to live together. My sex so good, I shouldn't have to air for free, right? I guess they're going to split that bill. Y'all moving in together. It ain't free no more. Y'all about to split that rent. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Sex, lust, and nothing else. It must be good, right? Because they moving in together. This is infatuation. That infatuation is going to fade. So somebody's in love. For someone else, it's just sex and lust. Oh, my God. This is a Ten of Pentacles in reverse, so there's definitely an ending if someone following their heart. This is a King of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Chariot in reverse. Somebody's trying to stop this person from moving on. But they feel like they're wasting their time. person here they don't know what they want to do they don't love it's a queen of wands in reverse they don't love this person they don't love this person it's just sex because they're it's like they're contemplating should I move in with this person because the chariot's in reverse because they really don't want to work on this it's really the sex with them it's the queen of wands because they said I don't love this person so one of them loves the other person, right? But the other one's like, nah, it's just the sex for me. I don't know if they just need a pillow. See, so one is in love. One says, this is my emotional fulfillment. And the other one is like, hey, this is just sex for me. Either that or this person needs a place to stay. And they're going to be like, hey, I love you, but I really don't. Like, that, people will never tell you. They're not going to be like, hey, I'm going to use you, right? But somebody going to find out. The deception. Yeah, this person here, whoever it is, they're not saying anything. When this Queen of Wands finds out, the Queen of Wands is going to move on, though. When this Queen find out that you only want me for my good good, <laughs> somebody's going to move on. When you find out somebody only wants you for your good good, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Sex, lust, and nothing else. They're going to tell you guys that they're serious about you, right? They're going to be like, I'm serious about you. They're going to tell you you're worth it. <laughs> oh, God, Holy Spirit. They're going to say you're worth it. And that they've been looking for love. Guys, be careful. This person... To me, it sounds like they need a place to stay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. But I'm going to ask that question next. Only meant to wet my feet. Uh-huh. Told you. That's what it is. Only meant to wet their feet. Holy Spirit, what is this person's true story? The Holy Grail. I got a feeling, guys. This person needs a place to stay. They say it's the sex. Even if it is the sex, that ain't enough, right? Sex get old. 
Someday I'm not going to want to give it to you, right? <laughs> Holy Spirit, so it can't just be about the sex. What's going on here, Spirit, with this person, with these energies for the collective? If they could replace you, they would. So this person needs you. They need you. And your sex is good, right? <laughs> but I think they need you at a place to stay. Selfish people are in your energy space. Yeah, they using you. They using you. I like the way you treat me, but I'm dirty. You selfish son of a bitch. This selfish son of a bitch. I'm dirty and a little on the wild side. You selfish son of a bitch. All right, guys. It's sex less than nothing else. You may love this person, but they in it for what you can offer them. And your wet ass, and your wop, and your wop, and your wet ass. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. It is Effing Up Friday. But let's just say what it is. Put a stamp on it. If that's what they want, they are there for your WAP and your digs, you know, and where you're living. Okay? Living what in living color. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.